Pixie's out here with me. Right, Pixie? Are we gonna go exploring today? Yeah. As soon as mommy gets done working, we can go out exploring. You're doing a little bit right here, right? Beautiful day. Guys, we finally found it. Cooler weather up here north in North Minnesota, North Dakota border, right across that river right there. And got the perfect campsite, full hookups, clear skies. Pixie's out here with me. It's about 10, 10.30 a.m. And I got a load of wash going, finally. After, I think it's, we're on five or six days from leaving Florida. And I think since it's so nice out here, it's not hot, sweltering, not humid. It's about 60 degrees right now at 10 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up our Starlink because we got about 15 megabytes per second download with our cellular antenna, T-Mobile SIM card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up this Starlink and uh, give you guys an idea of what we can get with that now. I'm not sure how it's going to work with that limb up there. I'm not quite sure how Starlink works at all, but maybe I can give you an idea if we uh, assemble it real quick. I've already got the router run inside in the inside bedroom closet, and it comes out to the storage bay here, and the Starlink is already hooked up to it, to the wire. So I just run it back up, and I've got a second pole that will mount to our ladder. As you can see, i got two sets of pole mounts one on the other side for the Starlink and that second pole is inside the compartment there and we'll see how easy or complicated that is to set up and if it really makes a difference uh, from cellular speeds I got this mount and you know what, maybe I'll just run it over there at this property or campsite since we do have that limb up above us. So maybe if I go right here. And I got this old, uh, I think it's a Ryobi bag by the color and it kind of fits in there perfectly to keep it protected. Yeah, it does say Ryobi on there. So this is an old Ryobi tool bag that came with, I don't know, probably like a five or six piece equipment pack. That clicks in there. Now, that bag over the cord now I think I just got to go turn on the router inside so Actually, let me do I that remember I got it hooked yeah. up to a Yolink smart outlet the router so yeah so I just see a uh, Starlink on here I'm gonna go ahead and switch that power outlet to on like I said it's in my back bedroom closet compartment and then uh, we'll see if this thing activates Hey, it just started activating. It swiveled up by itself into that upward facing position. So now I think it goes through and tries to find the uh, satellite array up in the sky and gets it at its best angle. Interesting. 
There's a fly on it. Get away, fly. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up my Starlink app, app because I have this on, uh, I got the Starlink mobile plan for RVing, so I've got to activate it. I've had it on uh, Paul's schedule since we bought it last year. So let me find Starlink app. And we'll get this activated. All right, looks like I got it. I got the Starlink right down here because I noticed where it was aiming. It was kind of hitting that tree up there, those tree branches. So I put it down here and I'm on the app. And if I go into the Starlink here, I've already done a speed test. It does say it's online now. And it took me about, I guess, 10, 12 minutes to get it all hooked up and uh, calibrated. It still says uh, calibrating the connection currently, and it should stabilize after about 15 minutes. So I went down here to speed test just to check it out. Bam! 56, 50, 60 megabytes per second, 65, 66 megabytes per second. I'll take that any day of the year. And that's probably on low range for a Starlink. So uh, I'm going to do another speed test here. Run it again. We'll do start advanced test. See what it does for us. Now that's up to 105 megabytes per second at tops. This is, okay, that's the Starlink speed uh, from the base to the satellites, and then it's gonna connect, uh, yeah. check the speed to this actual cell phone yeah. over Wi-Fi, I believe, next. Here it goes, yeah, to my cell phone. Wow, lightning fast. I'm digging this Starlink, man. This is so cool. If you can see the setup here, I'll back up a little bit. So I got the wire coming out the back underneath from my uh, back bedroom closet cabinet where the main uh, Starlink router is. And I just set it out here because there's a clearing and I got the Starlink dish set up right next to the picnic table here, out the open. Well, then I would just stay put. I'm liking it. Highly recommend. 171 megabytes per second. Wi-Fi to my phone. Uh, I'm gonna go to Cabela's. It's right up over that way, over that hill. And uh, I'm in search of these GCI outdoor chairs. They're kind of rocker chairs, heavy duty. And we've had these for about, I think two years now. They fold up in like this and they fold flat. So I need two more because we have some guests coming to visit us at the campsite today, later on, when Cheryl finishes work. So, follow me. We'll go into Cabela's up here and see what kind of cool stuff they got for outdoor living. like this 
this is not as good. It doesn't rock or fold up the same way. Hmm. This one. Here's the GCI one, but looks cheaper. And there's some up there. What do we got? Kind of like these for 50 bucks. And it's got a side table. Let's see. Yeah. They don't rock. There they are, right here. That's what I'm looking for. 69 bucks. Okay. A black one and a red one. Black and red. Sold. <clears throat> These. Now if they have a picnic table cover would be nice. quite what I'm looking for. I want it to be fitted around the corners like a mattress sheet. Okay. Looks good to me. Oh, more. These are how they look folded up. And I got the red one unfolded that we just purchased and we already had two black ones. Now, if I was smart enough, keep in mind, we already had two black ones, I should have got two red ones. Shoot. Anyways, go ahead and unfold this one. There we go. Seating for four.
Hey, it's Wendy and Jason. We haven't seen you guys in years. Our, our Canadian friends. They came to visit us at our campsite here. They're visiting the U.S. Oh, this is going to be nice. We can have a pizza party outside. Wendy, nice to see you again after a few years. A couple years. Our Canadian friends. You guys want to eat it inside? Well, we'll put the pizza inside. I mean, just grab a plate or whatever, bring it out. Go? Oh, Pixie gets to meet new friends. <laughs> it sounds like your family has that ability. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Wendy? You said. Wendy's here too. <laughs> There she is. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> you know what? I um we forgot to kiss him one. Oh yeah. Toba two oh one east for fourteen miles. Hi there. Good. It's me and my wife and our two dogs. Pixie. Uh, in Florida, near Tampa, Florida. Quiet. Uh, we come up around this time every year in our RV over the last three years now, uh, visiting uh, my mother-in-law in Lorette. We're only staying for a week. We're coming back Friday, next Friday. No. I got two cases of beer and uh, how much? Carton and a half a cigarettes. Carton and a half of cigarettes. No, no. No, we don't have anything. No. Yeah. It's a Florida plate 
Y three four Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. Welcome to Canada. You're now in Canada. Welcome to Canada. Turn right, then you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived. Right, guys we successfully made it here to Canada as you saw in the video earlier we had a successful border crossing and we are at my mother-in-law's house Cheryl's loving it seeing her mom after a whole year in person again and having lots of long late night chats we've been here for a couple days I got everything hooked up I got notice I got the cellular which isn't doing too good with our plan T-Mobile plan in Canada but I also got the uh, got the Starlink as well see and we got it snug back up into here into her driveway in front of her manufactured home here Let's see if I can get you around here and look this is like a manufactured home neighborhood you might have remembered it from videos of last year or the year before when we came so it fits right in here 
mom had some of these branches taken down since the last time the only thing it's not working is the sun because the sun is over runs this way during the day so solar's not working too well but we're working really good on our battery pack power battery pack we have in our power compartment and our lithium batteries and we're all getting together here now we're going to go over to Winnie and Jason's for a I think a cookout or some sort of a dinner they're putting on for us and uh, remember them they came by earlier at the Red River State Park campground and met us in Minnesota Grand Forks so they invited us over to their Canadian home this evening so I'll talk to you later <laughs>